Hello, friends. It's been a few years. Let's talk Linux again. So for those of you who happen to have a Steam Deck, you might be aware of Bazite. Bazite is powered by Fedora and by Universal Blue. Universal Blue, whoops. Universal Blue builds on top of Fedora Atomic, which more of you may know of as Fedora Silver Blue or Fedora Kinoite. To which you might be wondering, okay, what's, what's Fedora Atomic though? Most of the people involved with it, including the Universal Blue side and Upstream Fedora, they're moving away from the term immutable. But if you've heard of immutable Linux anytime recently, it's, it's, it's the same kind of thing. They're just moving away from that term because it's not technically fully immutable. So in this case, and what I'm going to keep referring to it as is more image-based or the way that Universal Blue is doing it, cloud native. You get the reliability of a Chromebook, but with the power of a traditional Linux desktop. So what Universal Blue does, building on top of Fedora, they add uh, quality of life things and hardware enablement, basically. And then Bazite and Bluefin take these uh, those uh, base Universal Blue images and then make these experiences. So Bazite has more of a gaming focus. Bluefin has more of a general purpose slash developer focus, and they also have dinosaurs. Bazite is going to be best if your primary focus is gaming, especially if you want to try to have like a Steam OS alternative on a handheld PC. Bluefin is going to be more for general purpose stuff or for developer focus, but you can also game on Bluefin just fine. And again, Bluefin has dinosaurs, so that might entice you. If you're like me and you do like what Bazite and Bluefin are doing, but you kind of want to do your own customized experience. That's where Blue Build comes in. The Blue Build project creates accessible tools for you to create, configure, and build custom images of Atomic Fedora distributions. So the thing with Blue Build, they uh, ab abstract away the like container file stuff and all the more manual, a lot of the more manual things, and instead have a YAML-based like recipe system. And on top of that, they have modules that you can use for your image, which are a bunch of basically shared scripts that are worked on by the by anybody involved with Blue Build that let you do more complex configurations a lot more easily. So let's take my Blue Build image for example. Um, you don't now you don't have to make it as intricate with like the file structure and whatnot as I have here. Like, I'm kind of pulling in things from a bunch of separate files. You can also just have everything all set up in one recipe file. Mine's just more complex because I kind of do more things. But um, let's say you want to have flat packs going. You just use the blue build default flat packs module. You just tell it if you want to do system or user wide. And then you just list the flat packs that you're installing. And the way it works right now, those are installed and set up on boot. And then if there's changes, those get changed each boot. Bluefin and Bazite also have homebrew set up. There's like a whole bunch of like systemd services, scripts, other files being modified there that like if you were to just do that on your own custom image and you weren't deriving from Bluefin or Bazite, there'd be a lot of things that you'd have to kind of implement. If you're just using blue build, it's one line. It's just this one little line, brew module, boom you'll have homebrew set up on your image out of the box. So as another example, let's say that you have uh, maybe a couple different recipes and you have like a bunch of common configurations available. Maybe you have them split off between like base stuff and desktop specific stuff. And let's say that maybe a new desktop environment just, uh, just came out in alpha and Universal Blue happens to have... Uh, some alpha images building for it. If you already have those configurations set up, you can just set up a new recipe file, copy over the configs that you already have, like so, and boom, cosmic version of your image with most of the same configurations. All builds up on the GitHub cloud, and then you just kind of have things available. Really nice for testing things. That is where I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I kind of wanted to keep this as a more short overview of Universal Blue stuff in general, but um, 
If you'd like to see me do some follow-ups going more of a deeper dive into things like Bazite, Bluefin, maybe more of a blue build tutorial in the future, perhaps, or just a more broad tour of my own setup here, uh, mostly on my own image. I keep it looking like vanilla gnome, but I do a lot of that more like under the hood stuff, kind of like what Bluefin and Bazite do. But anyway... Let me know what you guys might want to see more of in the future. Till next time, this has been Axel. Thank you guys for watching, friends, and I will see you in the next one. And I, I've just discovered that the logo on their website here follows your mouse, and that's honestly kind of distracting. Not in a bad way, it's just, just kind of grabbed my attention there. Some of the newer things that aren't quite in, like, not quite in use in, uh, like, Upstream Fedora, Silver Bloom Fedora, Kinoite, in that they're very focused on... Now, I'm not going to go too much into the inter inter uh, images like Bazite and also Bluefit. Why is that page not loaded? Ah! Okay, there we go.